What's up with all these YouTubers, man, getting all this publicity? All these sanctioned bouts, man. Let Real Talk get in there, man. I'll fight Jake Paul. Nate Robinson. Professional basketball player. Uh, you play basketball, homie. You can't play boxing. You can't play boxing. with it youtube fight fans all over the world real talk boxing back at you again i hope y'all had a blessed day man it's hump day it's wednesday we almost at the weekend peep this all right we're gonna talk about an undercard fight on mike tyson versus roy jones jr uh core excuse me um there's not there's a lot more people not excited about this this fight than i thought i thought people would just be geeked and excited like I am about Mike Tyson versus Roy Jones, but not so many, but that's okay. I still am. Um, I want to talk about Jake Paul versus Nate Robinson. Uh, you know, it's on the undercard, somewhat professional fight. You know, uh, we've seen Jake Paul before. We've also seen Logan Paul, his brother. I think Jake Paul is a better boxer and fighter than his, his brother, Logan. But, you know, Jake's been doing this for, what, two, three years? You know, I've seen a YouTube match uh, with headgear, and I've seen one without headgear. The second fight that I've seen him with without headgear, the guy had no business in the ring with him whatsoever. Whatsoever. He didn't have any skill set. But, nevertheless, Jake took him out. Now, Jake is a lot bigger than I thought he was. Jake's 6'1", 190, 200 pounds, give or take. Pretty big guy. Um, did wrestling in high school, you know, played football in high school. So, he's an athlete. He's an athlete. Uh, he was also on Disney, uh, uh, a show my daughter used to love, Bizarre Vark. He was on that, and um, he's he's got a, he's got like I said, two or three years experience in boxing. Plus, he has Shane Mosley working with him. His fundamentals look okay. Um, his jab looks okay. He leans. He's a little front foot heavy. He leans forward way too much for a guy as tall as he is. He needs to you know stand up a little bit taller and use his reach better. Know how to use his distance and. Uh, you know, the straight cross is pretty pretty effective, too. Looks pretty good. Um, now let's talk about Nate Robinson. Nate Robinson is, a, is an immaculate um, professional basketball player. I mean, the guy's not that tall. He's probably as tall as uh, Jake for a basketball player anyway. But he can still dunk. He's very athletic. If you've seen the guy, he's ripped. He's 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 shredded. He's built like a Greek god. Uh, looks a little bit like Shabba Ranks. He's got dread now, so he's all he's, he's he's looking a little shabba rankish, just a little. Um, but the dude's in immaculate shape, you know. But he plays a a professional sport. He plays basketball. We can't play boxing. I've seen about a twenty minute video of his training camp, and it doesn't look good. Uh, now I'm pretty sure this is the first time he's ever strapped on gloves, which is crazy to me. Why Jake would even want to fight him? I don't care if you are. You know, if you're not like an elite or or, or or somewhat pro, you should want to fight someone with some kind of experience or someone who has just as much experience as you. But any way it goes, they're getting paid. So whatever. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I don't know if their money is going to charity too. But, you know, Nate Robinson looks very stiff, very mechanical. Um, he doesn't know how to punch on the go. And what I mean by punching on the go is punching while using foot movement, while, while using movement, period. Every time he throws a combination, his feet are planted in the ground like mud, which you want to plant when you're throwing power shots, but you have to be able to jab and back up while you're punching and jab forward and back up and go forward and go left and go right while punching. I mean, it sets up for other shots. It gives you more angles to shoot your shots from. Very versatile is what you need to be, but he, he, he doesn't have that yet. That's how I know he's green. Uh, his hooks are arm punches. That's bad. And the guy who's holding the hand mitts for Robinson already trying to teach him the shoulder roll. If you can't do the shoulder roll, man, listen to me, y'all. A lot of people, listen, they love Mayweather. Mayweather has perfected the shoulder roll. That's why you see, that's why you don't see other fighters that can do it as good as him because he has perfected it. And it's a dangerous thing to try to do. It looks good, but if you don't know what you're doing, you'll get your block knocked off. 
You know, you're going to get your nose wiped. That's what's going to happen and your lunch money took. So leave that shoulder roll alone, especially when you was as green as Robinson. Don't be showing that dude the shoulder roll. Basic fundamentals. Jab, one, two, one, two, three. Hook to the body, uppercut to the body. Movement, that's what you need to be showing them. Not the freaking advanced shoulder roll. What you? Anyway, it's not going to be good. It's not going to be good for him whatsoever. He doesn't look, <coughs> he doesn't look like he's ready. I don't see the fight going past three rounds. Um, I mean, he does have until September, but I don't see much improvement in a couple of months. So I kind of feel bad for Mr. Nate Robinson. You know, I hope he does good, but he might need to go, you know, get with somebody else who's going to show him real basic fundamentals and not try to show him something that is going to make him look cool in the ring by doing the shoulder roll. Go get your nose wiped. That's what's going to happen. I know not many people care about this fight, but I figured I'd throw it out there. I don't see many people talking about it, and I want to see people. I want to see people's comments. I want to see what people have to say about it, and I just want to throw it out there. Just pitch it out there to see what y'all think. As always, respect all. Fair none. God bless. Real talk boxing. Oh wait, wait, wait! Don't click off yet. My last video, I made a mistake, y'all. I, I stated that Pervetkin and Deontay Wilder fought, and they didn't. I got Pervetkin's name mixed up with Arthur Spilka. For some reason, I don't know why, but I said Pervetkin instead of Arthur Spilka. So that's what I meant, y'all. So y'all don't crucify me for that. It was a mistake. Um, sometimes I just get jumbled up, you know, but it was an honest mistake. But back to it. Respect all. Fear none. God bless you till the next time, man. Real Talk Boxing, we gone.